been a while since I've done a review video, so I wanted to have a little fun with the intro. And the company that made the product I'll be reviewing reached out and asked if I could give an honest review, and I figured why not if it'll help someone else out with their buying decision. I also figured if it does turn out to be a useful product, I could probably find a place in my backyard to use it. So with that said, let's jump into the review and check it out. So what's included in the box is of course the solar street light, the wall mounting bracket, bolts to attach the light to a pole, and the wireless remote. The light has a total of 120 LEDs which I thought was impressive, and the color temperature is 6000 Kevin which has a super bright white or cool look. I've always liked a warmer color for outside lights myself, but I'll give this a try and see how I like it. The included remote which I believe uses infrared technology allows you to remotely turn the LED light off and on and adjust the different lighting modes such as turning on for a certain period of time after dusk or operated based on human or animal detection. Also the remote uses a corn cell battery which I like that it is pretty easy to get to. The wall mount that is included is optional and only needed if you have a case like mine where you do not plan to mount it on a pole but instead to a flat surface. Also, if you look closely, you will notice that the bracket is not a perfect 90 degree angle. It actually tilts upward. Here are some other facts that you might be curious about. The solar light has an IP65 rating, which means it is dust tight and protected against water jets from any angle. The built-in solar panel, which is another feature I like about this solar light, is a 6 volt panel that can produce 2.5 amps. The battery inside is a 3.2 volt lithium ion battery with 15 amp hours. The manual states that the battery can be fully charged in 6 hours and be used continuously for 10 to 12 hours. It also states that the battery lifespan is 5 years. The detection device by the green power on button has a 360 degree detection angle and depending on the height you mount the light it can detect humans or animals 26 feet away. I will perform a detection test later on in the video. The overall build quality for the unit seems to be pretty solid. Again I like how the solar panel is integrated with the unit unlike some where the solar panel would be an external device making the entire setup more cumbersome. As for the dimensions, the light is almost 25 inches long and shy of 10 inches wide. One concern I did have while handling the solar light, which may not be a big deal but worth pointing out, is the battery inside does not appear to be fastened or strapped down. Considering the light will be in a stable mounted position, this shouldn't be a big deal. If you listen closely, you can hear the battery shifting positions as I shake it back and forth. Again, this isn't an ideal situation, but in my opinion, it would have been nice if they secured the battery a little bit better. To get the most light coverage in my backyard and to allow easy access to the light, I decided to mount it on the rail of my upper deck. I first put the wall mount in place and marked each hole that needed to be pre-drilled. Also, if you enjoy these videos or find them useful, please smash that like button to help encourage YouTube to share these videos with others who may find it helpful and it also supports this channel. I next installed some stainless steel lag screws and washers that I purchased from my local home improvement store since the bolts included would not work for my application. Next, since I was not mounting the solar light to a pole, I needed to remove the included pole bracket so I could attach it to the wall mount bracket. Afterwards, I attached the light to the wall mount. Thankfully, there is a cutout for the hex nut to fit into that prevents me from having to use a wrench on one side while I tighten the bolt. The light weighs about 6.8 pounds so I was able to handle it with one hand but it might be easier with a second person. After all the bolts were hand tightened I used a ratchet to finish tightening everything. After the installation process was done I took a quick overview look of the light and I thought it had a nice overall slim design. Next, I tested how much of the backyard was illuminated when the light was turned on at night. I was actually surprised how well the solar light lit my garden and other areas in the backyard. Here is a close up in the garden to give you a general idea for how bright the light is. From this viewpoint, you can see how much light coverage I have in the backyard.
Next, I wanted to test the sensing mode. This is where the product falls short for me. No matter how far I was from the light, the light would continue to turn off briefly and then turn right back on as if it detected a human or an animal. I'm not sure if my mounting height is the issue or some other abnormal event occurring, but I mounted the light in a different location in my yard, tried testing indoors in a controlled environment, and I contacted the manufacturer, but nothing I tried seemed to work. So this is something to be aware of if you are considering this particular light, but based on the Amazon reviews online, I did not see a lot of people reporting the same issue. So it's possible it's just the unit I received that may be having an issue or an issue with my application. Next, I tested the remote control signal distance and I was actually surprised how far I could be away and control the light. However, I am not able to control the solar street light if there are any obstacles in the way or I am not below the light. So if you are looking for a way to be in your home and still be able to control the light remotely, it is likely you will not be able to do so with this unit, but typically this product type is one that you would enable a particular lighting mode and leave it. Overall, I would give this solar street light a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I really like the integrated solar panel, build quality, the amount of light produced, and some of the built-in lighting modes. However, because of the $99 price tag, it falls slightly short for me due to the sensing mode issues. I do plan to use one of the timing based lighting modes since I also like the amount of light it provides for my backyard, but hopefully this review video has been helpful for someone considering this particular solar street light or interested in other ways you can provide additional light to your yard without adding to your electric bill. Anyway, it's been fun and if you have not already, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Until next time, thanks for watching.